Welcome to Cross Culture New Mexico. I'm Mark Tross. Today we're going to talk about the Feast of Sukkot, or Tabernacles, and the historic background as it tells us in Leviticus 23, verses 33 to 44. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month of the Lord's Feast of Tabernacle begins, and it lasts for seven days. The first day is a sacred assembly. Do no regular work. For seven days present offerings made to the Lord by fire. And on the eighth day hold a sacred assembly and present an offering made to the Lord by fire. It is the closing assembly. Do no regular work. These are the Lord's appointed feasts. Take note of that. These are the Lord's appointed feasts. Remember that God chose Israel to go to all nations, all peoples, all tribes, and all tongues, which you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies for bringing offerings made to the Lord by fire, the burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings required for each day. These offerings are in addition to those for the Lord's Sabbaths, and in addition to your gifts and whatever you have vowed, and all the free will offerings you give to the Lord. So beginning with the fifteenth day of the seventh month, after you have gathered the crops of the land, celebrate the festival to the Lord for seven days. The first day is a day of rest, and the eighth day also is a day of rest. On the first day you are to take choice fruit from the trees, and palm fronds, leafy branches, and poplars, and rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. Celebrate this as a festival to the Lord for seven days each year. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Celebrate it in the seventh month. Live in booths or tabernacles for seven days. All native-born Israelites are to live in booths or tabernacles so your descendants will know that I had the Israelites live in booths or tabernacles when I brought them out of Egypt or bondage, sin. I am the Lord your God. So Moses announced to the Israelites the appointed feasts of the Lord according to Leviticus chapter 23, verses 33 to 44. So this is the month of Tishri, generally falls on our calendar during September in October, and again it is the eight-day feast of Sukkot, or Tabernacles. According to Leviticus 23, Sukkot was to be a time of bringing in the latter harvest, and is, in other words, the Jewish Thanksgiving. And I believe that here in America, it was celebrated for that specific reason as well. Hebrew Scriptures based the first American Thanksgiving on Sukkot, or Tabernacles. Second meaning of this holy day is found in the command to dwell in booths as a memorial of Israel's wilderness experience. Um, summarizing Sukkot with the word habitation or dwelling. The Gospel of John tells us that Jesus came to dwell among us. That word is tabernacles. So with such meaningful themes, no wonder Sukkot is known as Zaman, Simkateno, the time of our rejoicing. So we'll be talking next time more about tabernacles and the Feast of Booths or Sukkot and the traditional Jewish observance. Be sure to, be sure to check out our website crossculturenm.weebly.com. Look for us on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, LinkedIn, other social media sites.